And the people that have liked Metallica for 10 years, 15 years, 30 years, turn around and say, how dare <laughs> So in the world, you're here. Thank you for joining me as always. And today I get to combine two of my favorite things in the world, which is lifting weights and Metallica. Now, I'm sure because you live on planet Earth, even if you haven't been watching Stranger Things, you would have seen this clip and you would have seen the reaction. <laughs> That's right, at the end of the latest season, I think it's season four, of Stranger Things, we had the Master of Puppets Metallica played. It was the same as the Kate Bush stuff that got played. Everyone went crazy, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I forgot about this song, or I like this song. I'm going to go check them out. And in around about 82 seconds, what happens is all these brand new people are going, oh my gosh, Metallica, I really enjoy you, or whatever it may be. And the people that have liked Metallica for 10 years, 15 years, 30 years, turn around and say, how dare <laughs> How dare you like Metallica now when I've been liking them forever? And as you probably figured out, this is the same with the gym, the fitness palace of love too. And it's why some people are actually nervous about going there in the first place. Because while it probably doesn't happen as much because you're actually in person and the internet is just like sewer for this kind of stuff. What some people believe, and it has happened, hence why there is this thought in the air, is that if you are overweight or you're not in shape or you're going to the gym for the first time, the resident gym jock is going to see you and be all like, <laughs> This guy came to the gym. What an absolute goo. And then in that moment, you're going to decide, okay, I never want to come here again because you've just ruined my life. And it's gatekeeping. That's what it is. It's gatekeeping. You think because you've done something for a long time or because you're passionate about something or because you've found success in some kind of area that anybody else trying to come into that sphere has to, I don't know, pay their dues or do it the right way. And I just want to say that's a bunch of baloney. That's a bunch of absolute crap. It doesn't make any sense because you had to go to the gym for the first time at some point. You had to start listening to Metallica the first, uh, first time at some point. What? What difference does it make? Why do you even care if somebody just likes Metallica because Master of Puppets because it reminds them of Stranger Things? What usually happens in this instance, I think even Metallica did a, co a quote about this or a comment, etc., is that they'll listen to Master of Puppets and go, oh, hey, that's a really good song. Maybe I'll check out the rest of the Metallica back catalogue and bada bing, bada boom, you've got a new fan. And how does that affect your life? I mean it. I'm going to give you a few seconds to go down in the comments and let me know. You can say, well, they're a shallow fan. Okay, but why do you care? You can say, well, they wear the merchandise and they don't know any songs. Okay, why do you care? I mean it. If this is the biggest problem you have in your life, you should be doing backflips every single day because you don't have any real problems. Your biggest problem is that somebody may be enjoying Metallica and you don't even know, or your problem may be that someone that's a little bit fat is in the gym. Who gives a flub? How does it affect you? If you just focus on yourself and ensuring that you're having the best time in the gym and that when you're listening to Metallica or when you're seeing them live, you take in that energy they're throwing out there and it inspires you and it motivates you and, you know, it does whatever the hell it does in order for you to achieve your goals or go to the gym. There you go. You can merge those two things together. Some people like listening to Metallica in the gym because it gets them pumped. But there can't be any rules about somebody jumping on the bandwagon if we should even call it that. And I mostly use that because that's what people have said. You're allowed to jump on the bandwagon with things as frivolous as this. It's different if you get to politics or some kind of issue about healthcare. Probably shouldn't jump on the bandwagon. Probably should go out there and read and educate yourself. But I love music. Music is probably the greatest thing in the world and I love the gym too. We know this. But if somebody wants to come through the doors and somebody wants to experience it in the same way that I did 10-15 years ago then hell yeah, let them do it. It may be a case they hear Master of Puppets and they don't like anything else that Metallica have ever written. Seems unlikely, but you never know. And that's cool as well, right? And it's cool if they want to go out there and buy a Metallica t-shirt and wear it. Like, I understand that the reason people don't like that is because they don't want things to be brands because the band itself means more to them. And I totally understand that. I'm a Metallica obsessive. If I was into tattoos, man, I just have Metallica written all over me. But once again, you're allowed to appreciate things on different levels. So if somebody just wants to wear the clothing because they like the logo good for them i hope they have the best time ever and if for you if metallica have got you through hard times or the gym bring that into this conversation as well if these things have got you through hard times and these things have allowed you to get back on your feet then you can treat it as the important tent pole than it was but you can't then take that information and tell somebody else how they should live their life because one it's just stupid to begin with and also two you're going against the very thing that that thing did for you to begin with it was a positive thing it helped you and that probably helping them as well this ties into the conversation when people go oh man we're pandering too much to people with mental health issues because some people don't even have mental health issues and they're just making it up well doesn't it stand to reason that if somebody is making up that they have a mental health issue, that that's probably a mental health issue within itself, and we should stick down and talk to them and say, hey, Brad, do you need a helping hand? And then you can take it from there, as opposed to taking the 
pointing finger of doom and just being like, oh, all of you people suck and you're not allowed on my face. So yeah, I found a comment. It did come from TikTok. Uh, as you know, Metallica posts a load of their live live songs up there. It's from July 6th. And uh, one person commented, I'm sorry, Metallica, for all the fake Stranger Things fans. Love you. How is it fake? If somebody has reacted to it to the point they want to go and tell someone, you're going to have to figure they've got some kind of emotive reaction to it. And the Metallica, I mean, it's not Metallica, it's their social media guy, but still responded saying, don't be sorry, everyone is welcoming the Metallica family. <laughs> if, if they like Puppet, chances are they'll, pl they'll find plenty of other songs to get into. And there you go. Apparently to address gatekeeping as a whole, they posted a message to everyone in the top of the comment section, pin that mother hubbard. Everyone is welcome in the Metallica family, whether you've been a fan for 40 years, or 40 hours or 40 years, we all share a bond through music. All of you started at Grand Zero at one point in time. So there it is. Absolutely smashing it. That's what it's about. And then somebody said, Eddie plays it better. Joke, joke, joke. And Metallica responded, he's, he's a ripper for sure. So this stuff happens a lot, man. And it's with video games and it's with D&D &D, and it's with Magic the Gathering and anything else you can come up with that slowly becomes a niche. But you've got to let people through the door. Like there's too many actual problems in the world and there's too much bad shit going on at the moment to not allow people, even if it is just for five minutes, to be able to be distracted or be able to, you know, be taken aback by something else. No matter what that is, because you need that in your life. That's why they exist. And that's why I think Jurgen Klopp said it, random, the Liverpool football manager, that the most important of the non-important things is football, because really it could go away tomorrow and who gives a flub. But you need those things in your life, because again, it makes you feel better about all the bad stuff that's happening in the world. But... If we are now going to make that a bad stuff going on in the world too, that was barely grammar, but if we're going to do that, then we're taking the negativity that's already out there, and it was going to be out there, because that's just how life works, and we're bringing it into these little, I hate the phrase, but these safe spaces that we're trying to create for myself. So if I start liking random band that I've never listened to, Greta Von Fleet tomorrow, I think they have some quite hardcore fans, and then somebody knocks on my door and says, Miller, you are a flipping asshole, can't believe you're doing this. I'm like, man, get off my property. Now, the controversial part is I don't like Greta Van Fleet. I can't even remember if that's their real name. But once again, getting way off track here, it doesn't mean you go crazy. You can still enjoy it. So I just didn't like it, to be completely honest with you. And I'd actually done another video for today, but it was crap. <laughs> I edited it. I was like, this is, this is no good for anyone. So I thought I would just do a big rant. Because it's true, I remember going to Ultra Bodies, I believe it was called, or Power Bodies, uh, where I grew up. It was this proper old school hardcore gym, and it was just full of massive bodybuilders. I was the smallest guy in there by a country mile. It was almost ridiculous. And they did have this hazing in initiation process. Now, the reason they did it is because they wanted everyone that went to that gym to be a super serious lifter. But that did a right number on me. You know, I'm quite hard-headed, so I went anyway. But it did make me feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be a gym guy. That's not the right way to put it, but you know what I'm saying to myself. And everything should be more inclusive when it comes to things like this. If you want to go to the gym, you should come to the gym. As long as you're, you know, got the right etiquette and you're not just hanging around, you're not sweating on stuff and not clearing up your sweat, then you have every right to be there. It doesn't matter if you're 50 pounds overweight, doesn't matter if you're 10% body fat and in absolutely fantastic shape. As Metallica themselves just said, you've got to start somewhere. And that's true for everybody. Nobody was born into this life and just went, oh, depression, it's not realistic. And if you did, you've got an issue and you're probably being tested on right now by scientists, so you never Never saw this video to begin with. Allow people to come in and allow people to be happy. That's the problem. Everyone's got a problem with people being happy. It's like Thor came out today or yesterday, I believe. And so many people are like, man, oh, you can't believe you're enjoying Thor so much. Like, what are you talking about? Let them enjoy Thor. How does somebody else's fun subtract from your fun? And of course, you now say, yeah, but Simon, what if my fun is taking the mick out of others? Well, yeah, but you cross the line there, right? Because you're trying to take away other person's fun. Your fun should only be able to increase your fun while not decreasing anybody else's fun. And it will continue of course a bald guy ranting about this for 10 minutes <laughs> doesn't make a blind bit of difference but i just don't get it and i would consider myself a hardcore metallica fan i've met them it's one of the greatest days ever like i say i first heard them uh, 20 or so years ago and it was one of the greatest it was one of the greatest days of my life it was like i didn't understand music we've done a video on this and then i heard them and i was like oh and ever since then it's always been the so people say miller who's your favorite band and i don't say metallica because i think metallica transcend music and it's an insult to call them my favorite band this is how i think so i like to think that i'm pretty weird when it comes to metallica but i still want everybody to like them even the nothing else matters crowd you know who they are they like that song and you play them and even enter sam and they're like oh i can't handle it but who cares who cares they like nothing else matters great that's the whole point of the song it's the whole point of the song is that it was a nice easier to listen ballad or whatever you want to call it and that got more ears on the product let's use those stupid over the top turns so i don't think we should do this anymore i think it's ridiculous the fact that it descended into an absolute flame war on the internet well that's just 2022 but i shall not be part of it 
and I don't think you should be either. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell ding ding so that other is going live. There will be another video on the screen. Please do give it a click and go nuts in the comments, of course. Grillamind.com for slash Simon. Just go to Simon to get 10% off. Also at Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. On in, I should say. Greg Doucette's Power 13 Cookbook. Patreon.com for slash Simon316 for exclusive reaction videos. Simon.bigcartel.com for merch. And I'm on Cameo. Otherwise, yeah, just enjoy your life, man. Try not to worry about anybody else's. You'll be so much happier. And that's what life is all about. Goodbye.